Welcome to Drive Friendly with Steve, Felicia, and the rest of the gang. The show that will make you laugh and help you learn. We'll talk cars, sports, real estate, and everything in between. Now, here's your hosts, Steve and Felicia. Hey, welcome to Drive Friendly. I'm your host, Steve Rosansky from Friendly Auto Centers in Mesa. And over here to my left is my bride of 27 years, Felicia Rosansky from Platinum Realty. You're here. It's Saturday morning. It's probably hot outside. And we have some really good guests with us today. Um, we have Gabby Mazer from Pilates Tempe. Why is Pilates? Oh, my God. She, you, she is so much more than Pilates. If you are listening and you like to play golf or you are a Cardinals fan or you like to play baseball, you have got to listen to what Gabby's got to say in a little bit because she not only can give you all the information about how to be flexible, how to keep get strength training. She works with professional athletes and she knows her stuff. Even if you're just an amateur golfer that wants to improve your swing, you've got to hear what Gabby's got to say about being flexible and strength training because this she knows what she's talking about yes she does yes, she does so now i can get back to what i was saying <laughs> you i'm very excited me. i'm glad you're excited can i finish yes anyway yes. welcome to the show as usual we have our cast of characters we have the maven of mortgage ryan steckelberg with us and we have matt the mustache watson matt watson state farm insurance and of course yeah, one of the scariest women in the valley P.K. Jordan from East Valley <laughs> Media, who's a Spanish Bulls, Bulls fan, apparently. Bulls. I got my right? Chicago you know, sports. Too. Sports is, the, is uh, the focus of 1580 The Fanatic. And, and I am we wearing... found your jersey. It yeah. was not I, thrown I, out. I wish there was a mute button. I would, like, boom. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's called divorce. Yes, I got P.K. Yes, I found <laughs> my Islanders jersey. Very, very happy. She didn't, I she found didn't throw it. it out. I found it. Very, I very it. good. I, I'm yeah, most I impressed that it's number 69. Real, <laughs> real smooth there, buddy. Rosie. Well, I know I got this many, many years ago. Did you know that my shop in New York, we were the official repair shop for the Islanders? So Mike wow. Bossy, uh, Brian Trottier, Matt Martin, these guys were customers of ours. We were a big sponsor of the Islanders, and they used to bring their car to us, and it was awesome having these guys in. It was really cool. This one time, Mike Bossy's in my office. And one of my customers walks in with his kid and all their Islander shirt because they're on the way to the Islanders game. And he doesn't even realize he's sitting next to Mike Bossy, who's one of the biggest stars in the NHL, and uh, who beat the Rangers the other night, by the way. And um, I, I'm looking at the customer. I'm like, don't you know who this is? He's like, no. And I'm like, look at him. And he's like, oh, my God. He gets in his car, tears ass home, comes all the way back so he can bring his wife. And, and the guy was just sitting there like, is this happening? It was hysterical. So today we're going to be talking about things you can do. You know, we always talk about car maintenance and things like that. But today I want to talk about things that you can add on to your car to maybe have a better life experience in your car. You know, Same way that you would add on to working out to have a better life experience with your body. Absolutely. Or add on to your house to have a better experience with your house. Exactly. exactly. So we're going to bring that in. So a couple of cool things that I thought of today. One thing is a dash cam. Really simple. This Most of the stuff is all do-it-yourself things. And you can buy a lot of these uh, components on um, Amazon. But one of the things I like is a dash cam. Um, I, I especially like it if you have children who are driving or, you know, maybe anybody can have it. Basically, you stick it on the dashboard and it's a recorder and it's recording everything in front of you. So God forbid you get into an accident, at least you have a recording of maybe the guy cut you off or maybe the guy went through a red light. And I'm sure Matt would like to see this. If I had a claim where somebody T-boned me, you know, I have a recording. Can of that it. be used legally if it was if it was a lawsuit? Do you know? I would imagine. Well, so, yeah. If you if you've got it yeah, in your yeah. car, you can throw it into the insurance. At least from an insurance standpoint, to identify claim, you better believe it. And so often it's he said versus she said. So having a dash cam, whew, that really helps out your case a lot. And it's under a hundred dollars. It's really. But what if so it's your fault? Well, well, then you you don't have a dash cam. I don't, I don't know. Dash cam. Listen, Does that lower your insurance? It doesn't it. lower it, but it's certainly, if you're not at fault and you got some proof, then it certainly helps. And you're There's a ring, it. like a ring doorbell that lowers your homeowners, right? A little bit. If it's connected to a central station, like, uh, you know, ADT or, or the police like station. Like an alarm system. Yep. But yeah, having a dash cam, great idea to have. I'm going to be installing one of my kids' cars. Another thing that you can do, and it's a, it's a remote car starter. And um, this particular model is used for cars that have the transponder, meaning the key could be in your pocket and all you have to do the pr is press the button. I believe Gabby has that on her car. And um, Matt, you have it on your new truck. And what it does, it's actually an app, it's a device that you plug into your car 
and it's an app on your phone so you could actually uh, start the car, set the air conditioning temperature, stuff like that. Really, really cool. Again, uh, available on Amazon. Is that expensive? <coughs> that sounds like everyone should have that. It's about $150 total self-install. Piece of cake wow. to do it. Um, a radar detector. You know, th those felt out of popularity over the last 20 years. And now they're coming back because police, at least here in Arizona, getting more aggressive. And I mean, really, you shouldn't speed. I don't advocate speeding. <laughs> but if you have a radar detector, it lowers your chance of getting caught, which really raises insurance premiums. And, you know, these tickets are very, very expensive. You get a speeding ticket, you know, it's four or five hundred bucks and then your insurance is going to go up. So by having it, at least, you know, you, you have it a, should keep you from speeding. Yes. It should do you, keep do you, you use speeding. the Waze, the Waze or Waze app? That's really uh, Waze. Waze yeah. is a good app if you want to see. Yeah, they'll tell you if there is police activity based on reports of people reporting it. But be, between the time that somebody reports it, a police officer can pull into hiding at any given time. So, you know, Waze isn't 100 percent. So th this is a little bit better. So I thought um, those were illegal. I mean, so in Arizona, you can have one of those radar detectors. I didn't talk about being legal. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, listen. OK. Fair All enough. right. Another cool thing is it an for entertainment purposes only. An electronic <laughs> baby monitor. Most people have that stupid focac the mirror in the middle. You can't even see anything in the back. But this is a full legit camera mounts to the ceiling, and it has a little display the size of a phone right on your dashboard, and you can watch your kids um, doing whatever they're doing <coughs> back there without having too many distractions. Now here's here's something really cool, and my my kids came up with this idea like 20 years ago, and I thought it's ridiculous. It's called the hand presso. It's an electric coffee maker that goes in your cup holder. You plug it into your um, cigarette lighter and power outlet, and you, you have already filled it with ground beans and water in your home, and this will brew a fresh cup of coffee while you're driving. This is, I, I couldn't believe <laughs> I saw something this. something people need. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough. You have to worry about spilling stuff. Now you're going to be playing with hot liquids at 80 miles an hour actually if memory serves i think our daughter isabel recommended having a blender you can plug into the car still trying to figure out how that's going to work i don't but. think she meant for smoothies either <laughs> okay so but you this is something that exists and of course it would be you know pull over to the side of the road i mean don't be an idiot and try to make coffee at 75 miles an hour you know? or wake up five minutes earlier and make a pot of coffee before you leave the house am i right get one of those thermal coffee mugs don't any of you guys give them away in your business we don't but somebody here does i'm sure Oh, Gabagool. Gabby, yeah. she gives them away. So get a thermal coffee mug. Email us. We'll get you one. Um, here's something that's that's cool that I saw. A cell phone signal booster that stays in your car. It's almost like a, um, what do they call the thing you put in your house? Like a mesh, you know, another a signal nest. booster? No, is not, a no, a mesh, oh, not a mesh. nest. Oh, a nest is something else. Well, I don't know. Then don't <laughs> say it. If you don't know, what do you do? Because I could have been sounded really smart if I had the right Where's answer? the mute button? Mute. <laughs> So what this does is, again, you plug it into the power outlet, you mount it on your dashboard or on top of the visor, and it boosts your signal from your cell phone um, outward. So if you're in a bad cell spot, uh, and when you live in your neighborhood, you kind of know where the dead spots are. This eliminates it. But so. this is great because there's a lot of dead spots still in Arizona, and especially if you're driving from here to California, there's definitely dead spots. You're driving up road. Ellsworth Road, there's dead spots yeah, up so towards the mountains. That's yeah. a really useful tool. I, I feel so like that's really good. And again, I feel like our mechanic continues to give us advocate for blenders and using your phone. It all seems a little dangerous coming <laughs> from an insurance guy over here. Well, hopefully we'll have self-driving cars soon, and then we can have the blender mixing us up cocktails because <laughs> you can't get BWI. I mean, how cool would that be? Foresight, but, man. I like it. So two more things. A backup camera. Total self-install. It fills, fits around the license plate frame. Totally wireless. Goes another dash cam monitor. Uh, anybody can install this less than a half an hour. The better ones are wired because you could have some signal issues. Um, but um, generally speaking, they're very easy to install. And you can see what's behind you if you're parallel parking or if you're just, you know, you have a lot of kids in the neighborhood. You don't really feel like running over little Johnny next door. Um, here's something else cool. And we have these at our shop. It's called an OBD scan tool. Basically, it plugs into your OBD connector. That's where your mechanic plugs in under the dashboard. And if your check engine light comes on, it'll go right to your phone. And it'll tell you what codes are being uh, stored in your computer. And you can basically get, I'm not going to call it diagnosis, but you know what codes are being 
um, red. So you know, like if you're driving along, you're taking a long trip, your check engine light comes on, you'll be able to see what it is. Maybe it's a transmission code. Well, that you're going to need to pull into a repair shop. But maybe if it's like a gas cap code or some kind of emissions code, that's not going to cause you to break down. At least if you go to a shop, you have some knowledge. I'm not saying it's a diagnosis, but you'll know what's going on with your car. Now at Friendly Auto Centers, we have, we have these. And if you give us a call or just email me, I'll happy to give you one. These things go for like $150. But the ones that we have, we are connected to your car. So let's say I install one in Matt Watson's Ford F-150. His check engine light goes on. Before he knows what's on, what, what the code is, it's sent to me at my shop which is automatically forwarded to my cell phone. So if one of my customers is driving along at night and their check engine light comes on, I know about it instantaneously and I can call them up and say, hey, don't worry, you know, you're good. But I can also look at the data. I can look at over 40 pieces of data and let them know precisely what's going on because I can see stuff that they can't. This is like 10 steps above the stuff you buy at the auto parts store. So you can also say, pull off to the side of the road. Right. Get somewhere safe. But here's also what, what ours does and the other one does. Let's say you put it in one of your kid's car, your wife's car, whoever, and God forbid they get into an accident and the airbag is deployed. It'll notify whoever you want to immediately. So I have one in Felicia's car. She doesn't even know it. But I something know. happens. <laughs> yeah, it'll right If her airbag deploys, I'm notified about it before the police are even notified about it. So I know exactly what's going on. It is not a GPS tracker. It doesn't tell me where she is, but it'll tell me that something has happened. So, so it's, it's a great tool. And um, we got a bunch of these from Mechanic Advisor and they gave them to us for free to sell. And we're going to give a few away. So anybody who wants to um, call us here at the radio show or uh, email me at uh, steve at friendlyautocenters.com. Um, that would be awesome. And just, you know, leave your name and number and we'll send one out to you. Or better yet, come in, pick it up. We'll install it for you. It takes literally two seconds. And how does someone get in touch with you? With 480-830-9377 is my phone number. 480-830-9377, Friendly Auto Centers. And we'll give these away. I have five to give away. So any of you guys give us a call or email me, Steve at Friendly Auto Centers, and we'll be happy to give it away. The installation takes two minutes. You load up an app on your phone. It's phenomenal. It's a really, really great thing. In fact, everybody who's a guest on the show, I'm going to give you one also. Okay? Yes. Oh, Ryan, so, so, so when the, uh, you, one. you don't have one. So okay. when the uh, when the phone vibrates in the middle of the night, we can assume it's not his girlfriend, right, Felicia? It's uh, it's maybe my car uh, has a check engine light on. You know, <laughs> after tw- first of all, it's been 26 years. It only feels like 27. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Quite frankly, I, I, I'm asleep. I don't care. <laughs> I'm asleep, you don't bother me. Just move on. Wonderful. Keep going. What, so, what are you wearing, Steve, things. from Friendly Auto? <laughs> Boxers. Are you done? It's about time for a commercial break. Well, anyway, most of these items are available um, at Amazon. Um, and those who don't want to shop at Amazon for some reason, um, any good auto parts supply store will have them. Uh, Factory Motor Parts, one of our sponsors, you can search them online. Some of these they have online. And uh, if not, just give me a call and I can find this stuff for you. Or if you have something that's similar and you want a recommendation, call me. I'll be happy to help you. So anyway, stick around. We're going to be right back with Gabby Mazur from uh, Pilates Tempe. Now, what does Pilates have to do with everything, sports radio? Everything. More than oh you God. think. And, and, and she's getting quite famous uh, clients yeah, coming in the doors. And then so, she's an ASU instructor. That's it. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. Sun we'll be devils. right back. Hey, welcome back to Drive Friendly here at 1580 The Fanatic. Let me point out something cool. Check this out for those who are watching on Facebook. Bald my, not my bald head, <laughs> but I got myself a cool 1580 Fanatic hat. Woo-hoo! Because Mike Jensen yeah. from 1580 stopped by my shop for like a two-second visit yesterday and dropped off some hats and some T-shirts. I wish he would have stuck around a little more. Great bunch of people at 1580 The Fanatic. And if you get a chance, my new favorite show, The Blender, 3 to 6 p.m. in the afternoons. What a bunch of fun guys. A couple of ex-New Yorkers in there. And- I've been watching I've been watching them on Facebook all week. And I tell you what, the, the, the talk that they had about Johnny Manziel, the, 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 the buffet at the Gentleman's Club, I'm telling you, those guys will get you laughing. I actually uh, liked – I was like the one guy who liked Johnny Manziel. Yeah, you were. Okay? I liked him. <laughs> Now the Jets even better, you know, they traded away Jamal Adams. We got some other people. So we got rid of some attitude. Um, so, you know, hopefully the Jets will 
uh, do well enough to get another first round draft pick at the end of the season. So very, very excited. And, you know, you guys can always call us at 844-983-0300. Call us, text us. You got something to say, comments, criticism. Uh, we're from New York. We can take anything. We're not scared. Oh, yeah. 844-983-0300. Don't be shy. We got and skin gonna, as thick as grapefruits. And so. I'm going to turn this over to my wife, Felicia. Take it away. So I am really excited to introduce Gabby Mazur from Pilates Tempe. Is it Mazur or Mazur? Mazur. Mazur. Neither. It's Mazur. Okay. Well, now no one will ever forget it. But you have this fantastic Pilates studio in Tempe on Warner and Kyrene. And I, when we started talking about you being a guest on the show, I said, Hey, you know, we're a sport, we're on a sports network. What can you really offer? Because I don't think, you know, I don't think I'm not sure that Pilates, which is very ballet oriented and very, you know, seems to be very, a lot of ladies go to it with not that ladies don't listen to sports. Cause I love sports, but it might not be a good fit for the show. And you were like, get out of town. I have professional athletes. I can like Gabby, you tell us what can you offer? Like, What's going on? How do you work with professional athletes? We have tons of men that come in here. I mean, it's it's not just targeted towards women. It's not, I mean, you would think it is like ballet would be, but, you know, they integrated ballet into football players because they wanted to increase flexibility. They wanted to increase strength in different types of muscles more than just weightlifting because flexibility, stability, all of that is so important when you're playing sports, even golf. I mean, we have, we have clients that come in here, uh, men that come in here specifically to better their golf swing. Like that is the only reason they want to be here. They're like, I'm fine. I don't want to get stronger. I just want my golf swing better. So um, we do have Cardinals players that come in here. The Cardinals practice field is right around the corner from here. So we get a lot of Cardinals players that come so, in here. So what do they do when the Cardinals players come in? Like, what do they work on? Like, do they work on the reformer? Do they work in freestyle? Like, how do you work with them? They, they work on the reformer. They come in the classes just like like everybody else. They join our classes. Um, their coach, their strength and conditioning coach actually has told them, you know, you need to find a Pilates place. And luckily, we're right around the corner from them. So um, they just do the basic workouts just like anybody else. I mean, everything that we do here focuses on every muscle in your body. So when you're working on core stability, you're, you're working on everything because it's so important to strengthen your core because it's what keeps you standing. It's what keeps you sitting. It, it's what protects your organs. So you're really doing all of the things, even if it's just a basic Pilates reform or workout like we do every single day. It, it's beneficial no matter what it is, you know. Um, otherwise, if there are there are specific workouts um, that we do, you know, some with older gentlemen that love to golf and that they're retired and they like to like to, older like Steve or older like well, you know, yes. <laughs> But, you know, we work on rotation a lot. We'll work on upper body strength a lot. So it just kind of depends. But really any basic Pilates workout that we do in a class is going to be beneficial for everybody, for for any sport, for any just daily life, for your flexibility, and, and even your mental health is a big one now. How well, about you know, um, you know, someone with, with um, chronic um, injuries, you know, from, you know, 20 years, are they good um, clients for you? Absolutely. We definitely work with people with chronic injuries. Um, I've noticed that uh, over the time that I've been here, I've been, I, you know, now that I own Pilates Tempe, but I worked here for a few years before that, that we've seen a lot of clients come in here that have had, you know, like disc issues or previous injuries or their prehabbing for surgery or knee replacement. Um, and you'll see that your recovery time after surgery is less. You'll see that maybe you don't need surgery at all. We've had, I remember a client came in and was having extreme back pain, um, having compression in, in her lower, lower lumbar and ended up recovering to the point where she didn't even need surgery at all and may not ever. So you see so many different things um, that it's it's pretty amazing because you're what? working strength that, that you don't normally work on. 
one of the things that could you explain a little bit about the theory of Pilates, like the whole idea of it? Because I think it's it's almost like another it's almost like another language to people who are used to going to the to the gym. I mean, you're you have a studio. It's not a gym. It's very small. You only have a very limited number of people that can ever be in at any one time, which right now in the time of COVID is perfect because you are really limited to like six, six people in a class and they're far apart from each other. But yeah. what's the whole theory behind it that makes it so, so, you know, useful to so many athletes? Well, the theory of Pilates was that it's, it's total body. So you're not just working on, you know, strengthening like you would do with a power workout or with weightlifting. You're not just working on flexibility like you would, you know, not that yoga is just flexibility, but it's more flexibility focused. You're working on that. You're working on your strength. You're working on the mental aspect, your breath. So you're integrating all the things that are necessary to work your entire body out. And yes, um, it, it, we are limiting our classes to a very, very small size. And, um, we can focus really, really specifically on people because we have that personal attention to be able to watch you specifically breathe or watch you specifically move. Um, but Pilates, you know, years ago when, when Pilates first started this whole practice, um, Eve Gentry was one of his students. She had a double mastectomy. And during that time, they actually took out the pectoral muscles. So, which was terrible because now you cannot lift your arm. So what he did with her was rehab her to the point of training the muscles to do the work to be able to lift her arm up. So you can actually, without the pectoral muscles, train the other muscles around it to be able to do the things that your body is intended to do. So it's, it, it's very beneficial and important to understand that you can do anything with your body. And that was what Pilates was intended for, was to really, really work everything and to be in tune with your body and to know what your body is going through and what it needs. That's incredible. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask, um, you're not a gym. Now I know everybody is freaking out because they can't go to the gym because COVID has everything closed. So I know you do streaming classes for people who want to work out at home. Uh, here's an example right here. I do it. It's like 97 classes a week. It's I awesome. Can't, it's I don't awesome. even want to look at my American Express bill. But um, no, it's not. It's very. It's extremely. No, it's affordable. very affordable. But you are still holding. Obviously, you're at your gym now. You're. Yep. You have live classes because you're not classified as a gym, but as uh, a studio. So tell us how that works for people who may want to come and work out. So we do have online classes. We have over 20 classes a week, including weight training classes. We have bar classes. We have our mat Pilates classes and um, Pio and stretch classes as well. So we have a full schedule of online classes. Um, you get a link to the class 30 minutes before, so you can just log right on and you have that one-on-one -on -one connection with your teacher. Um, they offer a lot of um, adjustments and modifications for anybody that needs modifications. Um, we do also have our private classes. So like I said, um, we require masks. We absolutely require masks for all small classes, for all small groups and for all one-on-one. -on so if you're actually in here in the studio, we do have a lot of extreme safety protocols that we are, we have um, put in place in order to keep everybody safe and keeping everybody distanced. So we have separate rooms here in our um, small studio that we can keep people very, very separate. So our private one-on-ones, if you're watching, you, if you can see us on Facebook, where I have one, a reformer behind me, this is what a Pilates reformer looks like, like a, like a torture chamber thing. Medieval torture, torture rack. But, I feel um, like Uncle Fester on the rack there. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're trying to keep it very, very small, very, very limited, so that uh, everybody stays as safe as possible here. That's awesome. And how would people get in touch with you if they're scared enough to come in? So you can uh, email me at gabby at pilates tempe.com. It's G A B I. You can give us a call here also at 480 820 7200, or you can find us on our website, www.pilates.com. Pilates Tempe.com. 
Okay. Now, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the streaming classes. So one of the things I think that's a benefit of the streaming classes, and it's, and, I, and I do take them, I've, I've noticed that people are one or two ways. Either you'll have a class, and it's like it, it, it's not done through Zoom, but it's in a Zoom-like setting where you see the instructor, but you can see the other students. And I've noticed in some classes, all the other students shut their video, so you really can't see them. <laughs> you can only see the instructor. And then there are other classes where everybody, you can see everybody, and which I personally think is just a little more beneficial because you can literally get called out by the instructor and you know she's calling you out, but nobody else really knows because they're so busy looking at themselves and looking at the instructor. But you kind of get like, oh, I should make my back a little straighter. Or, oh, I should put my elbow up a little higher. So it's really great because you really get that total personal training, but I'm safely at home. So there's, well, no, think- there's no contact. You also do the virtual one-on-ones with yes. me as well. So if anybody's looking for that, you really want that one-on-one attention, I do offer the online personal training as well. So it's- One of the things that I used to like about your studio is she does something called stretch therapy. So my wife told me I needed a therapist one time. <laughs> Actually, it was in screaming at me, I need a therapist. More than so I went, I went to see Gabby times. and I got stretched. And getting stretch therapy, it's really cool. It's like, doing yoga and Pilates without actually exerting myself because she does all the work. <laughs> but really, she she stretched me because I've been bending over a hood and working on the <laughs> floors for the last yeah, I 40 bet, years. I bet you have. So my muscles, <laughs> yeah, my muscles are very, very tight. Well, you yes. know, you got to go on the dashboards. We're like contortionists. We have to twist our bodies working on cars in many different ways. And as cars got smaller, it, you had to get in there so um gabby uh, be quiet so, you know gabby stretched me before where there were times i couldn't lift my leg up like this high and then when i was going to her regularly i was like a ballet dancer well not really um, I, was, I was a lot i was a lot closer but it, it was really clunky. let's just say less clunky less clunky it, it was really great and i felt fantastic afterwards and hopefully you'll be able to resume uh doing that after all this craziness is over um, well, Ryan, are you, Ryan, are you, is Ryan still able to put his legs behind his head after that flex stretch therapy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed that at last meeting. I can do the splits. You got to do yeah. something. <laughs> well, I have actually worked with Gabby for a couple of months, um, several years ago, um, doing stretch therapy. I actually had an injury and I couldn't um, do, I couldn't do anything really. Um, and that was super beneficial. I think we worked out for like two and a half months or whatever, but you rehab me back where, uh, cause I have chronic back stuff. So she's awesome. Abby, we only have a couple of minutes left. Um, then we're going to go to commercial, but please stick around. But do you have anything that you can give our listeners something? Cause we do have a lot of guys and, and ladies that do like to be athletic. Can you give us a couple of tips on what they can do at home? Something that's pretty simple and something that they should do on a daily basis if possible. Uh, absolutely. I know that it's really difficult to get like workout equipment now. So what I would recommend is definitely doing stretching. Stretching and meditation are two things that are really, really, really important right now. While we're stuck in quarantine, we're stuck at home because it helps to slow down your parasympathetic nervous system and release a little bit of stress. So stress is very, very, very high at this time. So definitely just five minutes a day would even help you know, we had we had Dr. Judy Judith Zial on um, last week, and she gave us an app called Calm that has yeah. a lot of, and it's really funny because I checked out the Calm meditation, and on it, believe it or not, I found one from Thomas the Tank Engine. Now I know it was meant for kids, which I think is brilliant actually because it talks like Thomas is talking to a kid, and you know, kids get stressed out too, and telling them to calm down and shut up doesn't really work. <laughs> you know, yeah, maybe so, me. well, because I've trained you, but <laughs> that being said, um, meditation, even a five minute meditation, even from Thomas, the tank engine who did yeah. a whole five minutes about blowing out angry air and sucking in calm air was really helpful. Yeah. I love the calm app. I use it often. They have little 10 minute meditations on there. I'll, you know, light a candle, grab a glass of wine and listen to my 10 minute meditations. I mean, it, it really does wonders. It's super important for our mental health right now. Now, Gabby, where are you located exactly in Tempe? We are at uh, Kyrene and Warner. We're on the northeast corner of Kyrene and Warner. So you're right off the 10, not too far from anything conveniently located. You have yep. years and years of experience in, um, you had Healthy Body Works, which was a uh, 
another studio. Now you moved into this. You're your own. You're a businesswoman. Everybody and knows author, you. Right? And uh, oh, and you're an instructor at ASU. I oh, forgot yeah. to mention that. You're also in, you're also teaching courses at ASU now. So congratulations. Second she, semester. And cool. she works with people with autoimmune, which is really huge. She knows I, understands I, their body types. She has yakitori or something. Uh oh, how she do, Gabby. Pip, pip, uh, hooray. What do you not do? I uh, dance. Dance. Oh. I Ladies don't and gentlemen, next up on stage. <laughs> I don't think she meant pole dancing, Matt. Oh, well. <laughs> but maybe right. she did. I don't know. <laughs> I do not. We're really happy to have you. We have to stop for commercial break, but we're going to get back and talk about other ways you can improve your life by improving your home, how to improve on your insurance, and we'll get back and talk more about how to, uh, what to do to make everything part of your life better. There you go. Stick around here on 1580 The Fanatic. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Hey, welcome back to Drive Friendly. I'm your host, Steve Rosansky from Friendly Auto Centers. You know, people have been texting me going, what's Friendly Auto Centers? I'll tell you what Friendly Auto Centers is. We're located at Maine and Higley. We're one of Phoenix's largest auto and medium truck repair shops. We have 22 bays with 18 lifts and 13 of the finest employees I've ever worked with. Now, I've been in this Amazing. business 43 years, and I have the finest staff. And what's great, these guys have been with me since I've opened up. And what we do is unique. We always keep the same mechanic on your car and the same service riders have been with us pretty much since we've opened up. So you come in, see Manny or Adam or Eric, they know you and we always assign the same car to the same mechanic. So the guys at the front, they know you, but most more important is your mechanic knows your car. He knows what he's done to it. He knows the little quirks it has. He knows what you like. So although we're a big shop, we're still a neighborhood shop. We're not some big giant corporation with 68 stores, you know, somewhere. You know, a lot of a lot of big companies recently got sold. You know, all the Firestones got sold to Pep Boy. Sun Devil Auto just got sold to some big conglomerates. So and all this money is leaving Arizona. Leaving Arizona. We all, we own it. We live here in Arizona. We deal with local businesses. You know, every week we always have a, new, a different local business that we feature um, on our show. So if you're looking to deal in Arizona, stay in Arizona and the money gets spent. I run into customers at the supermarket all the time. I make connections. So do my employees. And we are neighborhood, but we could tell you where to get an electrician. And we only have one location. We don't plan on opening up any more locations because how can I be at seven different places? Where's the quality? So we're staying with one and that's what we should feel. That's what we feel our listeners should do. If you're not coming to us, go to a local <laughs> family owned business, stay away from those big giant chains, because guess what? You, you develop a relationship with one guy over there. You find out you like him. Oh, they moved him to another store. Which store? I don't know. Of course they know. They just don't want you to follow him around. And with all these big businesses getting sold and resold and some are company owned, some are individual franchises like Christian brothers is a franchise at some stores, company owned on another. So who's working on the car? And that with all these franchise fees and the, the way they pay their guys is based on profit. So nobody's really looking out for your car. They're only looking out for your wallet. So friendly auto centers, we put people before profits. So if you need some good work on your car and if you have a good mechanic, stick with them. The lo there's a million great shops here in Arizona. and But if you're going from shop to shop and the big you know, the Walmarts and the big things and all these stay away from them because they're, they have nothing in it. We have a vested interest in it because we stand behind your repairs for life forever. So if you get your car serviced at friendly auto centers, you pay once for repairs. That's it. We do it an alternator or a water pump today. And five years later, it goes bad. It costs you nothing. We'll even give you a free loaner car. All right, my wife's hitting my mute button on the side. So I'm going to turn it over to Felicia now. I it's, got nothing it's, else. It's a wonderful philosophy. I've just been hearing it for, for 26 well, years. Well, oh, next, next week, um, I got to jump in and tell my story about my experience yesterday at Friendly Auto. A little, Man, no, they're, please they're don't. So, just, they're look. so good. They're so good. <laughs> Uh, they're amazing. I almost, I think, I think the guys were going to kick me out in the office because I was just chatting with the mechanics. Not only great mechanics, phenomenal people there too. Thank you. Very Thank nice. you. We we are very proud. And again, um, up for the Better Business Bureau uh, Torch of Ethics Award. Oh, one last thing. Actually, Gabby's Gabby's car got into an accident, and the car was totaled. My staff was upset because she's one of the few people <laughs> that take really good care of a car, but she keeps it really nice and clean. So. Huh. 
it's it's a clean it smells we, nice. we appreciate believe me we appreciate that there's no sonic french fries floating around in there <laughs> okay everything, so well, let's just sonic. move on a little bit um go ahead take it over just because i just want to because i promised some information to our listeners and i really want to get this stuff out there there's a lot of ways right mm-hmm. now that you can upgrade your home mm-hmm. and a lot of people while there's a lot of people who are taking vacations or going camping they're they're shooting out to san diego and back a, the majority of people i'm speaking to are still staying home and you using their backyard as their staycation. So with that being said, and they have extra money to spend on their homes because they're not going anywhere, there's a lot of great things you can do that'll not only improve the quality of the home that you're living in while you're living in there, but will increase the value of your home should you decide to sell it. So some of the things that you could do, the number one thing I recommend doing is put a little money in landscaping. Oh, flowers Put a little money in landscaping. Yeah. Talk to and 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 what I'm gonna say is super important. There's a cactus. It, it's cactus and oh, Arizona cactus, Arizona cactus on Arizona Avenue in Chandler, just south of the 202. I'll Nicest use that. I'll people. use that as an example. There's also uh, the nursery that's not too far from us. A and S nursery. A and S nursery. A&P. These are locally owned. These are locally owned nurseries. And not that I'm I'm not going to disparage Lowe's or Home Depot in any way. I know they sell a lot of plants and 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 whatnot, but they just don't have the real knowledge that you need. And I'm going to explain why. We lived in Chandler. We had certain types of trees, certain type of plants. We moved to East Mesa. We didn't realize the soil is totally different here. We went from farming land to mountain land. Yeah. So do you think the same thing's going to grow on a farm and in, in a land that used to be used for farming as we grow in a land that's on the side of a mountain? The answer is definitely not, except for cactus, which grows everywhere in Arizona. But we didn't know any better, so we just went ahead and bought the things that we knew we liked from our last house. They all died, every single one of them, except yeah. for the cactus. Yeah. So you want to talk to somebody who knows your particular area in in our in, in the valley, because you know Mesa is different than Gilbert, which is different than Queen Creek, which is different than Santan. The, the requirements are different. The, the way you have to water things and care for them is different. There's different times that are good for planting, times that are bad for planting. So talk to a local expert if you're going to spend money. Spend the money wisely on things that are, that are going to work with a company that's going to guarantee that your plant's not going to die within five days of you planting it. Yep. Because it could it could be you know it could be very costly. I mean, saguaros are like like a hundred dollars a foot. Yeah. I mean, it's very some of these things are very expensive. They're beautiful, but they're expensive. But nothing will increase the value the the immediate value of your home than when you walk and you see the front and the backyard is 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 well done. Is 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 purposely done and it's done with proper landscaping, not just, you know, not just dirt and a bunch of rocks thrown in the back. The landscaping is definitely the first thing that I would recommend. Felicia, the last plants that I bought, they sold me a grow light with it as well. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, from what I understand, it's not illegal anymore though. Why don't you just go get a Chia Pet? <laughs> well, that's what Ryan has. I see it in the back on his counter as a Chia a Pet. A Chia Pet, yeah. You know, you should take some of that and spread it on your head he, and see what he's, happens. He's growing out a wig. Yeah. Talk about the know. pot you calling the kettle. Too. Okay, I'll let you know. You need some too, buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm. I got more face to wash now. It's ridiculous. I'm a testament to increasing the value. I refinanced my house with Ryan last year, and uh, when I moved into my home, I think there, my backyard looked like there probably could be dead bodies buried in it. But uh, we spent a lot of time and money to upgrade. We now have a koi pond. We've got a lot of tropical fruit trees, um, flower beds, vegetable gardens, and it, it greatly increased the value of our home. And I want to plug my nursery because I love them very much and I get a lot of my tropical fruit trees there. It's uh, Seamus O'Leary's Tropical Fruit Trees. And um, they do a lot of very different um fruits and mulberries and um aren't you growing bananas didn't you weren't you trying to grow bananas mangoes avocados um coffee i've got two giant coffee plants uh so we just have a ton of different plants they're not they're not really native here and again you have to amend the soil to ensure their success but the local nurseries like that they really really want you to succeed at growing something and not just spending, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks a pop, 50, sometimes a hundred bucks, and then just letting everything die. So it, it definitely increases the value of your home. And it also increases your mental health because you can sit out there and <laughs> well, first of all, it's great because you're supporting local business, which we are a hundred percent behind, but I have to ask you a question, Gabby, yeah. a koi pond, a koi pond. I love it. It's love Porto it. de Yardo. She's visiting. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a process. Um, it's I been a project. 
it's been a project. We dug it and built it ourselves, but it is so worth it to sit out there and hear the water. And, you know, it really is, it's a labor of love. And no, I do not eat the fish. They are full <laughs> fish. So we don't go out there and cast a line. So, and at well, what oh, temperature well, do fish boil? Yeah, really. Because, surprisingly, you would think that it, that it gets very hot in there, but that the water is constantly running and we have it shaded by a lot of trees and shade sails. And, wow. You know, so Gabby's Garden and... is a beautiful, I can tell you, her garden is really, is really a beautiful resort. And like I said, and you've made it so nice. You can actually hang out there and it's like, a, it's like a vacation. It's like going to another world. And the other things that you can add to your backyard that are not super expensive, but really will give you a facelift is a fire pit. I mean, and they don't have to, you know, they don't have to cost a lot of money. You can, you, we actually have a neighbor that built his own fire pit. They have, they have these kits where you can build your own fire pit now, if you're so inclined, or you can pay somebody to do them. Upgrade with lounge chairs. And if you already have chairs, you already have backyard chairs. You know what? There's some great stores. If you ever go to At Home, which is over on Greenfield. Oh, yeah. I mean, what That's an amazing nice store. There are hundreds of different kinds of cushions. I mean, try, you know, we're talking about health and we're talking about mental health. Sometimes upgrading, giving yourself a little facelift, changing those ratty cushions that have been outside in your backyard. And we all know what the sun does to material. It just fades the heck out of them. So spruce them up and buy a couple of new cushions. You know, buy a couple of new chairs. Buy a new, buy a funky table. There's a great, great place on Val Vista and Main. It's a local, another local shop. They sell all kinds of um, oh, that Mexican metal, Mexican art, and metal art and they have tables. You buy a little table like that. It completely brightens up the backyard. Yeah. And they're not super expensive. And you know what? They're negotiable. They would love the business. They love to another local business that could really use your help and it'll make everything look really nice. Another thing, if you want to spend a little more money and really do an upgrade, and we've seen a lot of them in our neighborhood here, is to get a pergola. Not everybody is 100% covered on their porch. And some people who are still need more room for their grills and whatnots and Traeger things, you gotta have the whatever. Built in. You got to have the smoker, the grill, yeah. and the whole nine. That's what I got. There are so many state-of-the-art pergolas out there. We found one when we lived in Chandler. We had one that we found at a home show, one of the Arizona home oh, the shows. Aluminum it was great. It was it was sturdy, and it had a you could open it up and close the top, so you could actually have shelter if you wanted to keep the sun from beating down. You could open it up when the weather got nicer, or you wanted to look up at the stars. That adds value to your home. When we sold our home, the question everyone asks is. This comes with it, right? Well, yes, it's a fix. It stays with the home and it really adds value. It adds shade. It's more places for people to sit and it, and it looks nice. And, and we've noticed them all over our neighborhood here. Don't be intimidated to build one on your own. We actually built ours out of old reclaimed wood. So it's wow. that's possible too. And it does. Yes. Value and beauty. I want to do my own. I want to do my own. F Felicia, you're telling people to spend a lot of money. It sounds like they need to take advantage of some good insurance rates right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to call Matt Watson State Farm. Absolutely. How would they get in touch with you, Matt? Yeah, you know what? They can call me at 480-830-7283 or mattwatsoninsurance.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, everywhere. We're all over the place. And let me tell you something. These things do increase the value. Thank you, Matt. And they do increase the value of your home. I'm just going to give you one last one, and I'm going to save the rest for next week because I know we have more to discuss. If you have a pool... You can upgrade your pool and it doesn't cost you $10,000 to upgrade your pool. You can put in a new water feature. You can put in, um, new, you can put in bars. You can add games to actually for really, really super cheap. We had fun with that. You can go to, onto Amazon and look, I, I'm not that I'm spouting Amazon. I have no interest in Amazon, but do you know that they have pool beer pong? Yes. Floating. It's this mat. Floating it's about beer an inch pong. and a half thick, maybe two inches foam with cutouts. And you put those 16 ounce solo cups in there. We sit in the pool every day and play beer pong or gin and tonic pong, <laughs> we call them. And, and, and we've gotten quite. Um, no, not, we haven't gotten improved at all. I, at all. You need to go see Gabby because you got to work on your throwing. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going gonna, gonna to stop with the pool because we only have, we have less than a few, <laughs> well, only a few minutes. And I don't want to leave out PK and Ryan um, from adding into the joy and the fun today. PK, talk about how can you improve? Give me one good piece of information and we're going to catch up more next week. What can somebody do to improve their life when they're getting divorced besides getting divorced? Oh, <laughs> now, don't be impatient. It's really important to have clear and sound mind. A lot of times people want to just have it over with. I don't want to deal with it and bury their heads in the sand. So when you do that, you won't have a good settlement. 
So the main thing is having the ability to listen and also to talk with other advisors to make sure they're making the best decision for themselves. And not only that, is into their future because there's so much to consider. Um, that would be my biggest advice is to slow it down. It's not a race. It's a process. It's a marathon. So maybe they should get that Calm app and go on Thomas the Tank and learn to like breathe in, breathe in, breathe in the blue when you blow out the red. You know why divorce <laughs> is so expensive? Because it's worth it. <laughs> divorce is so expensive. Because we'll be having a new co-host with me now. next week, uh, just saying. That's okay. It's my show. <laughs> no, that's no, I'm getting it in the divorce. What's going on with Ryan over <laughs> I call, there? I'm getting the show in the divorce. What's going on with Mr. Chia Pet over here? Ryan, you are out of your mind. You're so busy. You're so, I can't even get you on the phone. Yeah, if you're, if you're a loan officer and not busy right now, there's, you're not doing any work or <laughs> answering your phone or not doing anything. Um, yeah, it's unprecedented times right now. Um, lots of purchases going on, even with low inventory and interest rates obviously are really, really low. So I think I read that there's $9 trillion worth of refinances happening right now nationwide. Wow. Um, and there's like 9 trillion more that are, that could refi. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. Mortgage companies are obviously uh, struggling a little bit with capacity, but um, everybody's doing their best, trying to hire more underwriters. Um, process. I think this might be, you know, as everyone's excited about the refinancing, I do see this as a red flag for the housing market. Because if you yeah. have just refinanced your house, what are the chances you're going to sell it? Yep. Yep. And I think, I do think probably around election time, who knows? I, I would just assume rates, they can't get really much lower. So they're going to be going up at some point. Um, and then, you know, when that happens to big home values are probably going to come down a little bit. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But if you've got a high interest rate right now, I would definitely look at bettering your situation by lowering that and save, save some money. And you, you still think this is a great time to buy a house? Yeah, I do. I do. Yep. It's, I think, it's super I think there's probably right parts of the country that are going to struggle a lot more than here in the Valley, just because there's so many people moving here and just growth here is crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I do think maybe like the New York inner city, those condos, people are going to be moving outside out to get more space right. for, for the burbs, moving away from San Francisco. In lieu Seattle. of the next shutdown pandemic that we'll have like two years from now. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. really exciting. It's, it's awesome. And I'm blessed to be busy and, and grateful, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. All maybe right. uh, maybe through the process, he's a little busy, Felicia. You could help him landscape his uh, the interior. That white, those white <laughs> walls, those, right. some pads up there. You're in a prison. That's it. Yeah. All right, we're running out of time here. Uh, drive. Yeah, get some so. pictures on the wall, man. Yeah, empty I've got some. Even if they're just posters from the local whatever. All right. So we want to thank our guest Gabby Mazer from Pilates Tempe for joining the show this Gabby. week. Thanks, Gabby. The usual bunch of nut jobs we have: Matt State Farm and Ryan Steckelberg, and of course. The chronic PK Jordan from East Valley Media. To be <laughs> Scared of ever be lover. So anyway, we'll see you guys all next week. Stick around. You don't know what's coming on the show after us here at 1580, The Fanatic. Great station. We'll see you all next week. And remember, drive friendly, Arizona. Thanks for listening to Drive Friendly with Steve and Felicia. Visit drivefriendlyaz.com for live shows, past shows, and more about our hosts and guests. 